All right, I actually want to uh, get into this, like, ASAP. There is too much of people in the world chat saying, oh, resistance isn't better than health, or health is better than resistance. But let's actually uh, come to an understanding. Um, health will never be the best that to aim for because you can get it in multitudes of ways while getting resistances. And we're talking from a 42 standpoint. Now, that's not me saying it's bad. I'm not saying health is bad. I don't think any stat is bad. Now, you can argue, um, time to get crit for attack. That's a different story. I'm not talking about that. But you're talking about HP. It's my max. Resistance. Now, you'll say, once you get 30k, it doesn't help anymore, right? Because 72 and 76 isn't that big of a difference. There's a reason why they add all these numbers. It doesn't feel like much, but when you start getting into Void Abyss and Origins of War, you can tell the difference. Again, am I saying get tons of resistance and don't listen to um, health? No. Let me show you what I'm talking about now. Say you, you'll say, oh, get HP, don't get resist, right? PCK has no health on it, right? Resistance. Now, I got lucky with having these other two resistances on it, so it's really good for resistances, right? Even have some attack. Most say attack isn't good for um for a fortitude. I will show why attack is fine to have. Now, you want to talk about elemental attack? That's that's your risk to be taking there. I'm not going to state to go for it, but you can make it work. You can make it work. Fine. But my augment the static HP. How did I get HP? First off... The random stat has no HP on it. If it has HP there, you can't have it as an augment stat. Right? I think HP is the best augment stat for 42. But I don't think it's a good random stat. Because it's not going to upgrade as much. You might say, oh, what if you have HP already? How can you get like resistance or attack as the augment stat? You can't. You, you uh, Unless you have like... Three elemental attacks or three elemental resistances here with health. Then you'll get like the last elemental resist or attack with um with said stat. Why not just try to get both of these at the same time though? Upgrade one. So now you got this is why my CS appears so high too. This is five different resistances, five different attacks. Motion to just say yes. Now, I also want to state the only way to get this altered resistance is by getting altered resist percent. That's one, right? Flat altered resist. That's two. And the third way is we're well, getting the resistance stat. You know, the stat that we say isn't good. It's better not to have, right? Like this altered piece here. It's going to give me a lot of altered resistance because of this. Now, what's it going to get when I get, you know, altered? I don't know. I'd assume I'm going to get flat health and a random resist. Again, that's an assumption. I do not know. Now, you can say from here, oh, you have 51% volt resist. And that gave health and flame resist. So I, I'm making the assumption due to being having resist on, I'm gonna get those stats. But again, you see how I got vote resistance here, 51%. You go, oh, that's not worth it. Now I don't have. Oh, okay, I do have some vote here. But for the most part, I'm probably gonna be having to search. Like, see, I got some votes. But again, just keep your eye on the, the fact I still have the resistance. Resist that gives you resistances and everything. There's a Volt one. Oh, that's probably the... Oh, and there's another one. Right? Oh, and there's a little bit of Volt resist there. So I got a lot of Volt resistance. Now, I want to actually move off this. I don't want to have... 47k volt resist you're like see look you're trying to drop your resistances 
It's only because I want it to be in the physical resistances and the frost resistances. Now, can I live with this? Of course I can. I'm just trying to even them out. Just don't think much of it. But again, I know most think 4% isn't a big difference. It's bigger than you think. They're just trying to make it so you can get an understanding. Don't look at the percent number. Look at the actual number. And if you want, fight some enemies and see how much damage you do. Most people are uh, fear on fighting the uh, Nan Yang and the uh, J.O. right now because they don't have altar readers. They're like four or 5k altar readers. And they'll have like 1.6 million health and be dying. Now I know, you're probably looking, oh, you have almost 3 million health. How can you say that? Let me actually get to another area so I can prove to you that that's not the health you think I have. So sorry that this, this video is taking a little longer than expected. All right, so we're in like the beginning area. There's not going to be any kind of boost to my stats. So what you see as my stats, you'll see as my stats. As you see, I'm still at 2 million health. You're probably like, oh, well, I, if you said health wasn't as good, why do you have it? It's not the fact I'm really searching for it. Like I'm looking for, honestly, I'm looking for attack. And because I went for attack, I still got the resistances. But like, oh, well, I have higher attack than that. Okay, let me break down my gear really fast. This is crit. This is going to be resist. This is attack. Um, This piece is, is attack. This is attack. This is attack, right? And this is crit. Headpiece um, resistances. So out of the, the older gears, I have two for crit. Two for uh, resist. Now like four for attack, right? Let me just make sure. Two crit. Uh, one, two attack. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh, yeah. One, two, three, four attack. And then two for defense. So overall, the, the older gear, I really went in for attack. Why did I want attack? Oh, let me, ex let me show why. So you're not lost. It gives resistances. So I'm still getting resist. Why would you try to avoid getting the resistance? You get what I'm saying? It makes no sense. Now, as far as the newer gear, I got this to have HP, HP percent on it and what resist percent. If you can get a bunch of percentages, that's great for resistance to HP. I don't want to roll into the HP percent. I'd rather roll into elemental um resistances. So that means anytime we level up or I get more of something, like my resistance will always naturally move upwards. Health is gonna naturally move upwards too due to how the stats work. But I want the resistances to be moving up with the attack. Right here, I got the flame resist, frost resist. Sadly, I didn't have like, you know, another percentage here, but hey, it is what it is. You get what you get. Right, and I got physical attack. Now here's a little different now for me. I once had something else that gave a little more physical resist and I, and I removed it. You're probably like, why'd you remove it? You think it's better. So it's not the fact I'm thinking one is better, but I just want to try it out. And the fact I see over two million HP, I like it. I like how it looks. And I actually like how it plays. It's not like I think it's bad. But let's actually look at this, right? Got these random stats. This had physical attack and physical attack percent. I don't find them as important. I already have enough attack. Getting more of these does help, but like I'm making my role not as effective for what it does. Plus, I still get the damage off the physical resistance to HP for, for my skills. That's fine. Right? But look, the only benefit I was really getting is just physical, just a physical item. The HP is flat HP. I don't like flat HP. It just had percent HP. So I took it. Percent HP, percent resist. The vote damage doesn't really... I mean, it does help. But it's not what I'm looking for. No matter what damage it is. But the only thing I was really getting here that I liked was the physical resist. So because it's all I really liked, I went with this. Even though this gives less CS. Um, Don't listen to these numbers. It's not telling the truth. Here, I'll prove it real fast. My CSS went up, so it shows that, you know, you know, look here, see the CS difference? It's just because it's upgraded. That's it. Now, this piece, I just went for, um, I was looking for ultra resist. That's the only thing I really care about on this piece. It's the only spot I can get ultra resist percent. You can say get HP, get HP. You don't have resistances and you're playing fortitude. By the way, I also want to state... 
You have damage negate built in. Damage reduction by 25%. And then another additional 20% damage reduction. So you're already gonna be taking less damage. You might say, oh, then why do you why do I get health, right? Have you ever seen a benediction having to heal players? Could you imagine if I had if I somehow could move my resistances more than the health and still took our my my um my bar still deleted the same way? Except the benediction couldn't heal it as fast because well I have more health. So the resistance is actually it makes it easier for a benediction to heal you. Or maybe you don't have a benediction. You have an attacker or two attackers trying to heal you. Or heck, maybe you're trying to heal yourself and void abyss. Resistances matter. Great ways to resist damage. Now, for the most part, in, in void abyss, you're trying to like bump your health up a lot. As your health goes up, you have a wider, you know, um, a wider health pool. But you don't want it to be just depleting as much. The resistances make your health bar not deplete as much. That's why they kind of work together. Again, I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm saying you want it so it helps you. Well, first off, getting them both helps you stay alive at a better rate. Because if something's doing fire damage, flame resists better than the HP. But if it somehow switches from flame to vault, then HP is better than the flame resist. That's why you have, you know, the the all five trying to come together, they all work together. I don't see the problem. And this is why I would recommend everyone when you're building your character. Um, when it comes to the 1.0 gear, go for attack or resistance. Not elemental resist, you know, the resist that or the attack stat. Just so you get resistances, right? If it doesn't have HP, all the better. So you can get an augment stat with HP, right? You build that up. And then when you get to these later gears, you want to roll in the elemental resistances just because it really makes life better. But then you want, you know, HP percent. If you can get HP percent of all of them and it rolls into a resist, it really helps you. Now, the crazy part is trying to try to even them all out. There's four slots, so one of them is going to be altered. So one might have to take a dip, and you try to make it up for, like, your gear. But it's not like this is, like, bad, you know? Um, If I can get physical resistance, frost resistance to 40k, and my flame resistance and vault resistance can stay over 40k, big ups, right? Uh, I got 76%. This is 72. Maybe that'd be, like, 74 is to 75%, you know? That's not that big of a difference. Until you actually play 42 and start doing content, you will start noticing the difference, I promise you. But again, don't just skip out on health. You skip out on health. I mean, again, it sounds like that's what I'm saying. I'm saying they work together. And, okay, bonus question, because someone's going to say this. Uh, um, You don't need any damage for 42. That's so much cap. How do you think you hold aggro? Are you just going to hold Mimi the whole time? Like, how, how are you clearing content? When you're going to push on the ladder, you have no damage? You're going to get to the set of gear? Okay, you can do that. That's a lot of investing, which I, I, don't, even, I don't advertise it because the investment to what you get out of it isn't worth it. Just trying to make a whole other set just to do damage? Then you try to get more weapons? I don't have it like that. I, I do fine pushing, and then when, I, when, I'm, when I'm tanking... I know um, one of my friends, Vox, said, oh, no one takes aggro from her. I remember we were fighting this giant world boss, and nobody wanted to heal me, right? So I was fighting this, surviving, giving myself, you know, some self-heals and stuff. I saw her there, oh, she's on fortitude. I, I, I let her have aggro, right? I went into my menu, and I got hit. I said, what's going on? I looked back out, KO'd. Vox KO'd. The other 42 KO'd. What am I doing? I'm back there fighting, getting aggro. Um, I don't have an issue with aggro. I mean, the only time I lose aggro is if someone that has more damage than me. And they're playing fortitude. But normally when that happens, I don't have it. They struggle. They die. They look for a heal. I don't have that issue. I don't that unless there's the, um, the one-shot mechanic where that bar fills all the way up and I die, potentially. That's it. Other than that, I'm good. The attack feels great. Again... I don't have any like end, end, uh, like percent pieces for uh, for damage, right? None. 
So this is all oh, okay. The physical attack. That's probably the only one, right? Oh, and and vote damage. But I'm not really caring for. I'm not looking for it, right? Look at that. All my attack gear came from the older gear. All my attack came from the older gear, and I can push 32, 36k damage. You may say, oh, because you're a whale. It, look, let's make sure there's two. Yo, they got these things in the game. Blade shot. Uh, rejuvenation shot, right? Enhancement shot. Look at that. Increased base stats of the equipped weapons and make these two as if they're at max stats. Right? What's this here? Oh, I can't see it. Hold on. Piercing shot. Increased shatter and aggro. These things help. And I, I still, I always keep some as extra. I don't spend them every week. I don't think it's a good idea to spend every week. So I'm sorry this video is long, but I just wanted people to know like, hey, this is why, like, it's not HP better than resist, or it's not resist better than HP. Love them both. There's no benefit. There's no benefit to re to going one over the other. Again, maybe for attack it works like that. Let's say, oh, you rather get attack over uh, attack percent over damage percent. That might be true. I don't have enough experience. Only was told from DK, so I, I take their words for it. But from me playing Fortitude, anyone watching this channel, anyone in world chat watch me play Fortitude, I don't really die. If I died, I bet you another Fortitude died too. And they probably live just as long as me, but I can now damage them. And if they out damage me, they normally die faster than me. So I just want to put that out there. I thank y'all for stopping by. Please start spreading the notion. HP is not better than resistance, especially with a fortitude. They work as a hand and glove. Again, when it comes to crit and attack, I don't know. They work fine for me. All four of those stats work fine for me as fortitude. I don't know what it's like an attack or, well, actually, benediction. I actually kind of know. But benediction, it's actually good to have the mixture of both as well. You kind of try to lean more to an attack when you use a Lyra's trait. Kind of. Because you know you can get more of a uh, bonus for yourself when it comes to health. But it's not using Lyra's trait. You just get get both. No, there's no disbenefit. Take care, y'all. Thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribing. Because you can put that subscribe button right over here. And don't forget, you can watch the videos over here. I want to see you in there too, all right? You enjoy yourself.